jelly. Gee, that river looks so scenic. I could just swim in it. I probably couldn't swim out of it, though. You really are my best friend. Crabs. So 
slimy. Patrick. Let's get back to Twitchy before those bandits come back. She's gonna be so excited when she sees how ugly this will make her. Perfect four. Sticky sweet. Still alive? Good for ye. The last few heroes I sent out for cream never returned. The wrinkling hath begun. Oh, you two. Now beat it. Oh, thank you, ma'am. But first, we have a wand to repair. 
<laughs> Hand me that thing so I can fix it and you can leave me alone. Mm -hmm. Now get lost! Ooh. What a pro! Uh -huh. I could lick that just as good as her! I don't care, I'm gonna do it anyway! more chafing. The princess's animal is so majestic. I hope they let it out soon. I thought I saw a sponge chasing a unicorn earlier, but it must have been my eyesight. Someone should really invent glasses. Hear ye, hear ye. With the most excellent slumber party of all time almost upon us, the Princess of Wales calls on the kingdom's bards to heed her casting... uh... call. There is space yet for two poets who can earn the approval of her royal party planner's... Uh, unforgiving eardrums. Are you thinking what I'm thinking, Patrick? Definitely! But where are we gonna find a school bus full of mayonnaise on such short notice? What? No, I meant we should try out for the band so we can get into the castle and save Pearl. Oh yeah, that's what I meant too. That Harold is so helpful, I bet his nickname is Help Bob Squire Pants. Ah. Should thou wish to partake in this opportunity of a night time, <clears throat> you see what I did there? Hurry thee to the royal courtyard. I'm so excited for the ball tonight, especially since that annoying witch won't be there. Oh, what a buzzkill. I heard there were no witches allowed at the ball this year. Now it'll really be a party. I can't wait for the auditions to start. I like to boo from the shadows. Ooh, the auditions are starting soon. Goody! Get your pillows, rest your head, throw them at a friend. Hey, bet you can't pop all the balloons in the courtyard faster than me. I'm the courtyard balloon popping champion. Thank you, Patrick. Thank you. I'm rich! 
Oh, man. All right. I guess you win fair and square. wasn't invited this time. She's always such a party pooper. Day-old fruit. Get your day-old fruit here. Day-old fruit. Get your day-old fruit here. Stale bread and cabbage. New malnourishing flavor. Almost time for the auditions. I've got my tomatoes ready. Boring. Almost time for the auditions. I've got my tomatoes ready. Even listen to me, Mom. May I live in the castle one day? If Squid Note plays again this year, I might finally feed myself to a sea dragon. Can't wait for the auditions to start. I like to boo from the shadows. Another bard, another migraine. But what doesn't one sacrifice for the crown? One's talent, one's pride, one's eardrums. But our royal blowhole decreed that not one of her subjects is to be turned away. Because everybody's got a talent. Ah, thou have until I fall of the sleep of thine mediocrity to earn my admiration. Amazeth me.
ye, hear ye. Regretfully, the yellow sponge and his annoying balloon shall be royal bards at the princess's most excellent slumber party. The audience seemed to like their, uh, music. And besides, I have already rejected all the other contestants. Thou may enter the castle. Don't screw it up. Thank <laughs> you.